What's going on YouTube? Giosno right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to create a bootable device with the Rain USB, which is basically Check Rain for PC. Check Rain is of course a jailbreak, it's this jailbreak in here, which allows you to jailbreak the iPhone 5s all the way up to the iPhone 10 on iOS 12.3 and newer, including iOS 13.3, 13.2, 13.0 and so on. But as you probably know, this jailbreak is only available for the moment for Mac OS, so you need a Mac in order to be able to jailbreak with it. But you can actually do it on a PC that has Windows on it. And uh, the way you do it, it's actually through a dual boot. Now, there are two methods, the one that I'm going to present in this video on how to create a USB flash drive with it, and uh, another one that I presented in my other video, check it out, which is much more detailed, but that one requires much more steps and requires Linux to be installed or dual booted on a computer. The method I'm going to show you today is based on Rain USB, which has been released a couple of days ago, and this one is basically based on a USB flash drive or a USB stick. And you create a bootable USB flash drive with the files for the Rain USB, and you boot it whenever you need it, but you don't give up your windows and you don't have to modify anything on your hard drive, you don't have to create new partitions, you don't have to do anything of that. Everything is on the USB flash drive. So you do need a flash drive, but you have to make sure that the flash drive is actually empty, because if you have any important data on it, it will be removed. So you only need a tool for this, you can actually use two of them. You can either use the Etcher, which is this one in here, it's a pretty good looking tool, it's actually completely free, but some people reported some errors with it. But the tried and true method that I know is Transmac. Now Transmac is available in here on the acutesystems.com and uh, it's actually a paid program, it costs, but there is a free trial for 15 days and it's more than enough because you only have to use it once because after that you have the USB flash drive created so there is really no point into using it again. So you can download it from here, link will be in the description down below. And then you need the Rain USB DMG file in there because this one is going to be installed on the flash drive and you're basically going to create a flash drive that is bootable. You can find that in here on the release page and I'm going to link it in the description down below. There is also a link for Transmac in here and some step-by-step -step guide in here, especially for booting, because I'm not going to show you how to boot it in this video since every computer has a slightly different boot menu and a different key to access that menu. For example, on some computers the boot menu is accessible on F8, for some computers it's escape key, for others it's F12, F11, F10, and for some computers you have to actually go into the UFI or the BIOS and change the boot order by yourself. So I'm not going to show the booting in this video because it's actually quite different from a computer to another. So you're going to have to figure that out on your own, but if you never booted anything on your computer, for example a USB flash drive with Windows or a CD or I don't know Linux or anything like that, if you never played with your computer's BIOS or boot options or dual booting before, it's probably the best if you don't try this at home because you may screw something up in the BIOS or the UFI. So only try this if you ever booted a flash drive on your computer or you know how to access the boot menu or you know how to access the boot order in order to boot from the USB flash drive. So with that out of the way, in order to create a USB flash drive with Transmac, you have to open Transmac. As I said, it says in here that it's a 14 or 15 days trial. There's no problem, you only need it once and you have to press in here run after you wait a couple seconds. Now the important thing is that make sure that you have the USB flash drive connected when the program starts and uh, you're going to have to press on the flash drive and if it says in here administrative privileges required, you have to press yes and give it permissions and um, sometimes it may do this when it closes. Transmac has stopped working. It's normal, just press close. Now wait again and of course you need to make sure that the um, USB flash drive letter in here matches the one from the computer in here. So um, you have to make sure that you're not overwriting on something else, for example the Windows partition or your data partition and so on. Now if you press on it, it says no Mac volume found. But I have the DMG file in here and I actually recommend you to have a quite big USB flash drive. A 32 gigs flash drive is probably required. Now all you have to do is to right click in here on the flash drive and uh, go ahead on the restore with disk image and press yes in here and of course you have to select the image. Now what this will do is to format the flash drive and create the uh, media and it will copy everything in there and at the end you will get a bootable flash drive that if you plug in into your computer and select it from the BIOS or UFI, you will be able to boot into something like Mac OS. Now that thing is basically the installer for Mac OS, which shows you, you know, the setup on where to install it. But you don't have to install the Mac OS because uh, you have to go to the utilities and this tutorial in here on Reddit explains very well everything you need
need to do, you have to go to the utilities at the top and select the terminal and just run Rain USB. And that will start the check rain and you will be able to plug in your device jailbreak and then restart your computer back to Windows. As I said, you don't install anything permanent on the computer, everything you do is on that USB flash drive. So yeah, that's pretty much how I do it. I'm not going to do it in here because it takes a while, but you got the idea. This is how you create a flash drive with Rain USB. It's pretty simple and you can find it in here. And if you have any questions, you can either follow the guide in here, I'm going to link it down below, or you can ask me directly in the comment section. But yeah, that's how you make a bootable Rain USB check Rain USB flash drive. And yeah, thank you for watching, till the next time, I'm in a comment section if you have any questions and peace out.